Hello, hello, and welcome to your materials for drawing tutorial. This is just simply to let you know of the things that you can do at your home on your own to be able to draw. So there are some really good tools that you probably have access to in your house. So I'm going to show you how to utilize them. First of all, what I want you to do is be able to get a blank piece of white paper. Now this can be printer paper. I'm using a sketchbook, but you don't need that. Printer paper is okay. There, thumbs up, right? The next thing that I want you to do is to look at the pencils that you have. Some of you love using mechanical pencils for writing. I don't blame you, I love them too. However, they aren't the best for all around drawing. If you have a simple number two pencil, yes, it can even be one of these cheap ones that you probably get for free somewhere. That works fantastically. These will be better for shading and smoothing things together. These are great for small details, so it's not a terrible thing to have, but make sure you have both of these in order to draw well. You will also want erasers. Now these are really good, just standard, easy to find. However, if you want to up your game, get a white gum eraser. Now, you may notice that it looks a lot like the erasers here. They are the same thing. So these would be great erasers to use for small areas. This would be a good one to use for a larger area. Again, if all you have are one of these, that will be perfectly fine, or one of those cap erasers. The last thing I want you to have is paper for your guide. I'm honestly using a note that I've gotten from Mr. Branding before. So I'm just using this because it's a nice, clean edge, actually has quite a few of them, and it's heavier, it's not super flimsy. So when you're using it as a guide, you have a nice, edge to work with. And that's all you need to be able to draw well. Stay tuned for the next video.